Today is the release date of my new EP, Ashley's Mix, which is a special Valentine's Day R&B EP, which is something that I wanted to do for the longest time. But, you know, it just, I just did it this time. <laughs> Okay, so my discography uh, pre predating my uh, <laughs> b before the birth of the just the new Audino that's on Spotify. There, I had an album, well, I guess EP that came out in 2017, I think, which was basically songs that I wrote and recorded when I was in high school, and it was uh, it was called. Uh, it was like a, a title EP, which was like focused on one song, but there were other songs in it. It was called Girl I Need. I'm pretty sure you can still find it on Spotify somewhere under the artist name Audino W23. Uh, and then after that, on 2019, I started my new journey, I guess, uh, with the birth of Idle Thoughts, which is my first uh, like full album. Uh, and then after that, there was a few singles along the way, but then uh, it went to my second album, uh, Multiversal, which had, I think, 10 songs in it, uh, 10 songs. Uh, and it was like my first real like rap album. And after that, a few other singles, which are all rap as well. And now, uh, it's a, sort of a, a special uh, a special project that I was working on for like the past past a uh, half a year maybe six months uh, which is this EP the Ashley's Mix EP which is a Valentine's R&B love song EP romantic <laughs> which is something that uh, apparently I can be good <laughs> I guess the main difference in this uh, EP is that uh, there's not a lot of rap in it like I, I this main this mainly a, a singing EP connecting with my my roots because I used to be a singer and then I switched into rap. Uh, but don't don't worry, there's still some like rap elements in there. I haven't forgotten that part about myself. But it's just more it's just contained uh, in a in singing. And other difference is that this EP is like contained within one genre, I guess one large genre. Which is R&B, like if you notice in my last my last album, like it was very like every song had a different like sound, different uh, genre, even though it was all rap, but like everything had a different like vibe to it. Uh, and for this one, it's mainly R&B, even though uh, all all five songs also have their own signature twist to it, but it's all under the umbrella of R&B. How many songs are in this EP? Like I said, there are five. Uh, there are five songs. Three of them I produced it myself, like as in the beat, the lyrics, uh, the whole thing. I just uh, had some mixing, mastering help. And the other two are uh, a collaboration between me and my, my uh, diehard, my ride and die producer, uh, Feraldi Tingogoy. <coughs> and uh, those, all those five songs, well, I wrote all of them, so it's still, they're still my songs. And all of them are, I guess, a, a softer, more romantic side of me. Like, one th a side that you probably didn't hear from my last album. Uh, but don't, don't worry, all of them still have the signature Dino twist in the... I guess the thing that like each song has its own special like sound to it, even though it's all R and B, but like each song has their own vibe. Like for example, the first song, I'm just gonna go through this song by song now. The first song, which is mine, has a more I guess early 2000s R and B vibe to it. Uh, the second song, Body, has a more like uh, like danceable disco vibe to it. The third song, Constellation, is a bit sort of like electro R&B 
I don't know, I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, the fourth song called Tokyo is more of a lo-fi R&B, very chill kind of vibe. Uh, perfect if you like you're like driving late night on the highway or something. You listen to the song, you'll feel good. And the final song, Passenger Side, is a bit more groovy and more like upbeat than the rest. So all R&B, all Dino. <laughs> Uh, so the songs that I produced on my own are uh, Mine, uh, Body, and uh, Tokyo. Actually no, Tokyo, uh, I produced it halfway and then uh, we fin I finished it with uh, Aldi. But those are the songs that like I had, uh, I basically started on my own and like had already had like a vision for it. While the other two, Constellation and Passenger Side, were, uh, were I guess, full collaborations, yeah, so, but no, all of them have me in them, don't worry. <laughs> For the first time in my music career, I have prepared extensively an amount of music videos, <laughs> and actually, like, conceptually, like, planned it, planned each of them. Uh, so you can watch one already, it's out today alongside the EP, which is for the first song in the EP, mine. You can check that out on my YouTube channel. Uh, preview right now. Shoo! It's just you and me, fuck all the worries or problems that be. Look in my eyes, for now I'm all yours, you're all mine. Let yourself go. Let your body lose control Let's go It's burning in our memories Infectious like a melody We can do what we like tonight I'm on yours, you're on mine I'll let you have the rest of me Let's intertwine in ecstasy We can do what we like tonight I'm on yours, you're on mine And you just have to stay tuned for when the other ones are uh, going to come out. Uh, they're going to come out over the, the next uh, couple of weeks with the last one, Passenger Side, uh, being released on the 3rd of March. What's hap what else is happening on the 3rd of March, you ask? <laughs> In conjunction with the release of the Passenger Side music video, I will also be having a sort of live show slash event here at Padepokan Karya. Uh, gonna be performing, uh, me and my boy Aldi, we're gonna perform. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys come and watch. Uh, if not, if you can't come here to watch, you can watch it online. Uh, you can ask me questions about the process, about my inspiration behind all this, and I'll tell you because I'm nice and I want you to know. So, uh, hopefully you guys can come on the 3rd of March, right here. Uh, stay tuned for more details. I'll be announcing it. Uh, we'll be announcing it on uh, social medias. Uh, so yeah, just stay tuned and hopefully you guys stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so, uh, backstory. <laughs> The inspiration for this EP, uh, you can probably tell from the title, it's called Ashley's Mix. And by that you can probably tell that I didn't just pick a random name, you okay, guys. Ashley is the name of my girlfriend. And basically the inspiration to make this EP came from her. Well, it's not like she told me to make one, but like, just I just got inspired by her to make all these songs and I thought, hey, I'm gonna make an EP and I'm gonna title it this. Uh, because just a little backstory, that in my past life, no, it's still my current life, but in my past, when I was in relationships, I was very, very, very unable to write love songs, <laughs> which is kind of weird, right? Because you're so, oh, you're in a relationship, you're in love, you're supposed to be able to write these stuff, not me, not me, guys. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like in the times where I have released like uh, 
love songs in the past. Those were written and recorded like when I wasn't in relationships or when I was single. And this is actually the, fir the first time that like uh, <laughs> I, I wrote like more than one song about a girlfriend who I was actually, who I'm actually with <laughs> at, the, at this current time. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, basically all this, this EP wouldn't happen without uh, my girlfriend, Ashley. Uh, she's the inspiration behind it. She's my muse at this current moment. And hopefully long after this moment. <laughs> so yeah, that's the history and the backstory behind Ashley's mix. Uh, and finally, I'd like to give uh, a big thanks to these people. First, my family, my mom, my dad, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, rest in peace, I love you, uh, for basically supporting me throughout this whole music journey, uh, basically helping me become the person I am today. Because uh, without them, I wouldn't be in music probably just the, the support, sometimes the pushback, so that I can push back and explore myself. Uh, yeah, so without them, I, this EP probably wouldn't exist. Next, I'd like to thank the, the lovely people at Padepokan Karya for allowing me to, oh yeah, spoiler alert, for allowing me to film all the, the, the visualizers and music videos here in the studio and outside the studio in the area <laughs> so yeah without that none of the visualizers and music videos would exist uh, third a very big thank you to my homeboy my producer Feraldi Tingogoy without you uh, this EP probably would still happen but it would just be worse <laughs> so thank you for uh, uh, continuing to push me to become a better artist and sharing your your expertise and skills with me uh, and finally uh, thank you to my girlfriend Ashley uh, for being the inspiration uh, the muse uh, of my music now yeah without you this EP wouldn't exist without you I wouldn't be able to love uh, to love to write these love songs yeah so thank you to you And don't forget uh, to follow me on my social medias. Here's my Instagram. That's at Audino W23. And if you want to see a more, like, I guess, random side of me, follow me on Twitter at AU underscore D-I-N-O. And finally, I said finally already. I'm going to say it again. I don't care. And finally, don't forget to check me out on Spotify. That's Audino. You just search it up. Uh, and there you can find my EP, which is also of well, my EP, yeah, Ashley's Mix, which you can also find on other streaming platforms like Apple Music, iTunes, Jux, uh, and uh, others. So don't forget to check me out, don't forget to listen, and also don't forget to check out the first visualizer for, for this EP, which is for the first track, mine, out on my YouTube channel, the link down below. Yeah, so what are you waiting for? Check out the EP, check out the visualizer, and check me out. Check out me, my social medias. <laughs> yeah, so thank you. And see you on the 3rd of March, maybe, hopefully.